Okay, here we go. How many shirts can I hang up at once? Start counting! When it comes to fashion hacks, this is one for the record books. In just minutes, all these shirts will be hung up. Pretty impressive, right? Just wait till you see the other clothing hacks coming your way. Two more minutes and we'll start class. Morning! Hold it right there. Is that skirt in line with the dress code? Let's see here… Not even close. I must have been standing funny. Better luck next time, young lady. Why, hello there, Miss Appleby! No ruler needed here! I'm so pleased. Thanks, teacher. I just got it this weekend. Oh no. That deep V has you in deep trouble, young lady. Oh man, I was so close! Why is she always so strict? I didn't even bring a jacket with me. Oh. This underwear could work. As long as it doesn't look like underwear. Tuck it into your v-neck to cover your skin. A light stitch will keep it from slipping down. Use this pattern all the way up the v. Once you're done, disconnect the stitches. Then pull it taut. Hey, that's pretty cute! I'm ready to learn, Miss Appleby! See? No skin here! Way to go, Vicky! Gotta make sure to fold all my clothing now that it's clean! Don't want them getting wrinkled! I don't want to look sloppy on a date! Where did this come from? Oh, Brian! <laughs> You're so funny! <laughs> Thanks! Have a Coke! <laughs> oh, Brian! You're so good at reading books! Sorry, babe. It's just the way it needs to be. I've got to spread my wings. <laughs> it's not fair! <gasps> Ugh! Stupid Brian breaking up with me! I hate this shirt, so time to cut it up! Every cut of the scissors is like a cut he left on my heart. That jerk, always wearing collars. Well, now I'm cutting around it. I'll just get rid of these sleeves and collar like he got rid of me. And I'll gather and stitch the bottom of this the way I repaired my heart. Can't forget to use this part of the shirt, too. All right, next step, safety pins. I'll just pin these two pieces together all the way down from one end to the other. Huh, this turned out pretty good. I took his dumb shirt and turned it into a cute dress. Wow, I'm really impressed with myself! I don't need dumb old Brian when I've got talented and smart me! Oh, who's texting me? Oopsie! <laughs> Time to head out for the evening! Ooh, it's breezy and cold out. Oh, I don't think I'm dressed right for this weather. Ooh, that was brisk out there! This scarf should solve the problem. Shoot, I wrapped it bad. I'll do it again. No, not like that either. Ugh, none of these are working! What am I gonna do? Hey, Betty. Why are you so down? Because of your scarf? Give it to me. Oh, Betty. I can help you with this problem. Okay, I'll wrap it around your neck, then pull one side longer than the other. Then I'll twist it twice and wrap the long end around your neck. Now you can just tuck the end in like this. Oh, it's so cute and stylish! Thank you so much, Bella! Now I'm much better prepared for the weather. 
How do I prepare for flying newspaper? Luckily no one saw. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to get dresses to go out. What to wear, what to wear. This? Nah, too warm. A sweater? Not quite right. Oh, I totally forgot I had these cut-off shorts from last summer. Super cute. Yep, we've found a winner. Yep, they totally fit. Wait. Oh man, my entire butt is hanging out. These are a lot shorter than I remember. Try this. Squeeze some glue along the backside of the edge of the shorts. Snag some scraps of your favorite fabric — lace is a great choice — and press it firmly on the glue. Oops! Don't forget to wrap it around the front the same way. Glue, then press. Who knew a pair of old shorts could look so cute? Congrats! You avoided an embarrassing booty slip. Well done! Nothing is worse than waiting too long to catch up with one of your best friends. Except embarrassing yourself with sweaty, yellow pit stains. Yikes! Take a regular shawl or pashmina and put it over your head. With both hands, pull both corners under your arms and in front of your chest. Tie them together in a knot, like so. Now here's the fun part. Take this knot and slide it over your head. Check it out! You've got a new funky vest to hide those unsightly pit stains. Take that, summer weather! Nothing good is on. Stupid. Seen it already. <sighs> hey, Helly! Whoa! Jeez, Vicky, what did you do? Pop that button off with a slingshot? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh no, not our picture! Okay, seriously, will this thing slow down already? Whoa! Pineapple juice down! Don't sweat it, Vicky. I got you. Here, take this dime. No offense, Helly, but how on earth is spare change going to help fix Vicky's pants? Believe it or not, a metal coin like this can actually come in really handy. The next DIY clothing hack is a really clever one, so watch closely. All right, let's give this guy a try, shall we? Cut a piece of denim out of an old pair of jeans in the shape of a circle. Flip it over so that the back side is facing up. Place the dime in the center. With a needle and thread, start to make stitches around the dime. You can make the stitches fairly large, but not too big, see? Go all the way around. Go ahead and gently pull the string tight so that it puckers the fabric around the dime. Now wrap the rest of the thread around the tail multiple times so that it's nice and tight. Put the button into the first buttonhole so that the tail is facing inward. Turn it over and start to widen and flatten the tail fabric so it's pressed against the jeans. With your thread and needle, sew the tail down flat so that the button stays put. Snip off the remaining thread. Now take the other buttonhole and slip the new denim button through it. Hey, that looks pretty good! So if you're ever in a bind and don't have any spare buttons on you, spare change and some clever stitching can save the day! Yes! It's movie night! And tonight we're watching The Notebook for the hundredth time. We just can't get enough of Ryan Gosling, can we, girls? Ooh, you got the good chips this time. Nice choice. We'll never get sick of this movie. Oh no, she can't remember who he is? No, he's your love, remember? Oh god, why are we doing this to ourselves? Again! <laughs> Oh man, they both died holding hands. It's just so sweet. Why do I always think this movie is going to end differently every time I watch it?
Whoop. Um, um, Vicky, help a sister out here? Oh, looks like I snagged you there. I'm sorry. Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna just borrow your bobby pin for one second. If you have a snag in your sweater, loop the thread through a bobby pin just like this. Then stick the bobby pin back into the sweater and out through another opening. See? Looks like it never even happened. Here's a closer look. Put the thread in the pin, push it through, and push it through another opening. Snag be gone. Okay, I'm not mad anymore. Thanks. Whoa, Vicky, your makeup. <laughs> um, Helly, you should talk. Oh, man. Watching it again next weekend? Yup.